Hi, I am Jen Kohler and I am your upline in doTERRA if we haven't met yet, which I assume that most of us have met yet. Um, but if we haven't, I am wanting to come in here more frequently and really share my gifts with you. One of those gifts is that I'm a Reiki master teacher and I am very, very um, versed in living a Reiki lifestyle, living a very natural lifestyle. So I really love to work with the rhythms of life. I really love to um, work with energy and um, body work in all of everything that I do. And that really is wonderful incorporating into the oils. So, um, so what I want to do today is we are going to be doing the sacral chakra, which is your second chakra. Last week we worked on the root. This week we're working on the sacral chakra. And so I am going to go ahead and share my screen and we will get started. So one of the main things that I like to do in my practice is use oils energetically, um, use oils to, um, to really harness your emotional and self mastery. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and we'll start the slideshow. This is pretty quick. It should be about 10 to 15 minutes. So the sacral chakra lies just below the navel and it is your source of creation of creativity. The mantra here is I am the creator of my life. And if you think about what is what lies right there, it's your uterus. I mean, you, you have all of this creation happening here. Um, uterus, if you're a woman, <laughs> but men also have a creation center here. Sacral chakra is uh, the divine center of creation, whether you're a male or you're a female. So the color is orange. So you can really like start to like think about the color orange. You can um, wear the color orange. You can drink the color orange. You can eat foods that are the color of orange. And that will help to just bring awareness and intention to this chakra. So when you're applying oils here, you're going to be applying them directly to the area at the navel, the belly button. And if you have a bit of a spicy oil, just make sure to add fractionated coconut oil or some sort of a carrier oil. The element that goes along with this chakra is water. So um, I think that we did talk about um, the element in the root chakra, which is, of course, um, earth and being grounded. So when you're thinking about this element here, it's all about water and flow. Think about getting into the flow when you're feeling really creative. So the next, um, the next slide here is about the systems that the sacral chakra is in charge of. So this is about your reproductive system, your bladder, your lower abdomen, your circulatory system, etc. And the aspects of this chakra would be creativity, like we're talking about, abundance. Do you believe that you are an abundant being? Do you believe that you are inherently abundant? This is where um, your abundance comes from, is from this chakra specifically. So of course we have um, the aspect of sexuality, of being empathic or uh, being an empath, empathy, um, connection, sensuality, well-being. When you're feeling really well and feeling balanced in this chakra, you are feeling intuitive, charitable, good natured. You are really loving yourself. And that is one of the most important things that I like to teach my clients is that if we don't love ourselves first, then how can anyone around us really love us the way that we need to be loved? So when you love you, then everything else can fall into place. So that's one of the aspects of feeling balanced in your sacral chakra. Okay, so the excess energy. So if you're feeling like you have too much energy in your sacral chakra, excuse me, um, you could be caught up in illusion. So like the illusion of what's going on in your world. Is it real or is it just illusion? Most things are just an illusion. Um, you could be really overly ambitious. You could have an addictive personality or have addictive behaviors. Um, you could really want to feel in control. So I always like to remind people that we really don't have any control and that we are really meant to be letting go of of control and letting the universe take charge. Sometimes it's really hard to do, right? 
Um, so if you're feeling really stagnant in this chakra, you are feeling shy and timid, overly sensitive. You could be codependent, um, a little bit of OCD or emotional issues. You could feel um, guilty about pleasure or sex. Um, that is what you will find if you're feeling overly stagnant. So suppressing that chakra. And some of the diseases, disease that goes along with the sacral chakra is constipation, candida, kidney disease, apathetic or low vibration, gout. Interesting. Um, so those are just some things to watch for. As, as this chakra really becomes out of balance, these are the things that will manifest in the body. And that's what happens with all of the chakras. This is body insight. This is Reiki. This is chakra work. If you are out of balance in your body, it will physically manifest as disease in the body. Okay, so um, these are some yoga poses that are really great for um, the sacral chakra. And I love the mantras that go along with these. So bound angle pose, happy baby pose. Um, I'm not gonna be demonstrating those for you if you want to, you can look them up online. Um, but Radical pleasure is mine. I love that. And actually, when we talk about the oils, I will be giving you um, the radical self-love, rad radical self-acceptance blend. It's really, really nice. Um, and then, of course, I am strong. I enjoy a healthy and passionate life. All about really just abundant lifestyle in this, um, in this chakra. Okay, so here we are at the good stuff. Here's the essential oils and the emotional uses of those oils. So I love, okay, this is really a great tip. Yalong, yalong, put it over your sacral chakra um, before you want to be intimate with someone, your partner or a whatever that looks like for you. Um, and it's really helpful to getting really connected and joyful in the body. And it really is, it's an amazing tip. Okay, so Yalong Yalong is really nice. It's very much an oil of passion and love, connection, and joyfulness, which are all very high vibration. Um, wild orange is the oil of abundance. I use this every single day. I put it on my wrist. I put it over my belly button. I love wild orange. It just smells so good, and it just reminds you of the abundance in life. Um, Melaleuca, honor and respect. So this is like, I would say Melaleuca is really great for honoring, respecting your own body. Um, it's also really good for clearing energy. So if you're feeling like you've taken on a lot of other people's energy, it's a great oil to clear yourself. You can put it right here um, in, the, in the crease of the elbow. Um, and I like to put it on the back of the neck. That's a really good spot for it as well. And so anytime you're feeling like you've taken on other people's energy or you just need to clear yourself from the day, try Melaleuca. It's very astringent. It's very pungent smelling, um, but it really is great for clearing energy. Um, juniper berry, also really nice for clearing energy. And it's also, it's the oil of self-acceptance. So juniper berry is one of my very favorite oils. I love this oil. Um, I like to diffuse it. I like to put it on my wrist again. Um, this one is a little bit spicy, so you might want to put on um, a carrier oil with it. Um, bergamot, comfortable with yourself, radical self-love. This is a really lovely, beautiful oil. Um, Again, this is a citrus oil, and so you're going to want to use, I like to use a carrier oil with it. it. It gives me a bit of a sting. So that's just an indication that it need, I need to have a carrier oil with it. But I love bergamot. It smells so delicious. It's so, um, it's just so citrusy. It's really fresh. It's really happy. It's really nice. Um, cinnamon is all about sexual harmony, and patchouli is all about confidence. So the radical self-love um blend is I actually don't blend it I do each oil separately um but I rub bergamot and wild orange over my heart and I do use a little carrier oil um make sure that you're not out in full sun when you're um, putting oils like that on your skin because they are photosensitive and you can burn yourself um and then patchouli I put patchouli on the back of my neck and I would highly recommend that if you're really wanting to love yourself more and you're really wanting to like dive into who you are and how much 
love you can have for yourself, use this blend. It's so good. So um, patchouli on the back of the neck, bergamot and wild orange over the chest. It's just really beautiful and it just grounds you into your body and it really helps you to see how much you can really love yourself and how much abundance is within. It's really nice. So this is fun. So what we love to do with the sacral chakra is to, I love this, uh, make a list of a hundred things that you desire to be, do, have. Um, this is a really good way to um, see what it is that you desire and sort of just get into the flow of creativity in your life. Um, dance, get into the creative flow with that. Laugh, watch funny movies, watch a funny show, have fun. We are supposed to be here to have fun, right? So um, that I think is the main point of the sacral chakra is that we are the creators of our lives and we are meant to be here to be in flow and have fun. Stop trying to control everything and everyone around you and let go. It's really helpful. <laughs> um, and then here's the solar plexus. So I will move on to that for next week and I will share a new video. So here I'm gonna stop this video here in a moment. It's 14 minutes, it looks good. So I hope everyone has a fabulous rest of your day. If you are curious about learning more about the chakras and more about the oils that go along with energetic boundaries and energy cleansing, for sure let me know. I am here to help. So talk with you all soon and I'll see you in the next video.